Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis and today we are going to be tackling uh, a bit of the facial stuff that we haven't done up until now. We're going to create a control for the eyebrows, uh, which I will teach you how to build in a second, and we're going to create a control for the eyes. Now, uh, this is going to take us probably to the end of the facial stuff. We don't have a whole lot left to do in these characters. Let me just give you guys a quick rundown on what we have to do. We have to um, clean up the control system. Um, we want to make sure that there's no extra controls that the, care that the animators themselves shouldn't be touching, so we're going to clean that up. We're going to create an overall control structure for the entire character so you can move and place them in the scene. And we're going to have to skin the character. So really and truly, I think there's probably two or three more videos left, including this one, before you guys should be able to animate fully. So today, what we're going to take a look at, like I said, is the last bit of the facial stuff. So how to control the eyes, how to build the eye control, and how to build the eyebrow controls. So let's get started. Really, really simple stuff. I, you can make eyebrows as complicated as you want. You can do things with blend shapes, or you can do things with control system. I didn't bother. In the animation that I did, the, the animation called Exception, um, I didn't even bother. All I did is I made simple cubes. So I went up to Create, uh, Create, Polygon, Primitive, Cube, and I built cubes, and I sized them the size that I think the eyebrow should be, and I moved them into place. Uh, that's it. They are just simple cubes. We're going to give them some control, though, so you can animate them, so you can move them around a bit. So, like we always do, we're going to create ourselves some controls. Let's just uh, shut off our um, polygons, and let's shut off our joints for now, because this is getting quite messy. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to make these, these lines, too. Um, they're not necessary, but I usually like to make them, and I'm going to show you guys how to make that in a future video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a nerve primitive circle just like we always do and that's going to be our control you can actually like i've always said you can change the shape of them any way you want it doesn't really matter uh, i'm keeping them really simple to, for now just so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing and i'm going to rename this to control underscore uh, eyebrow uh, let's call it uh, let's make this the right eyebrow bam okay great and i'm going to then edit group this so the eyebrow is still selected edit group and that's going to group this ent entire thing. And I'm going to say, up here, I'm going to change the group name to um, Adjustment Node Eyebrows. Just like that. OK, great. We're only going to make one Adjustment Node for both eyebrows. It's not necessary to have two. So uh, we might even use this for our facial stuff, too. Let's, let's, let's see what we're going to do. Anyway, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to show. Uh, we're going to show our polygons again. And we're going to show our joints again. So we still have our adjustment eyebrows selected. I want you guys to select up here the magnet with the little dot. This is a snap tool. And we're going to drag this guy up to this joint right there. It should be the top joint on top of the head, right like that. Perfect. And that's going to give us some values up here that are going to be real world values. Now what we want to do is we want to, let's just turn off so we can see it again. We want to grab our control. So click on the circle itself. And let's turn back on our polygon so we can see them. And I'm going to just drag this circle. Oh, ooh, I turned my snap off. Turn my snap off so I can drag it. Drag the circle out like this. And we are going to set it up so it is right on top of the eyebrow and easy to grab just like that. Perfect. And now we can see that this has a value. We're going to, we want this to be set to zero because we want to be able to zero out our controls. So you're going to, with the control still selected, say modify, freeze transformations. And that is going to set everything to zero. Perfect. Actually, I don't like where that is. Let me move it over a bit. And modify, freeze transformations. Okay, great. That's where I like it. Next, we're going to actually make our left eye control, our left eyebrow control, and say uh, uh, edit duplicate and just drag it across to where you like it right about there and once again modify freeze transformations okay great and let's rename this so it's the proper name and this is now the left eyebrow control perfect just like that now what we want to do is we want to make sure that whenever we turn our head because watch what happens if I uh, if I turn my head Boop, boop, the eyebrows stay in place. We do not want that. We want the eyebrows to move along with the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off for now. I'm going to turn off my show polygon so we can just see this stuff here. And I'm going to have the control follow this bone. 
I'm going to have the adjustment node follow this bone. And it's really, really easy to do. What we're going to do is we are going to go to our outliner. And we are first going to select our master, which is this bone right here. So we've got that selected. And we're going to find then our adjustment node eyebrows right here. So with the master selected, the head bone. Why is that called head? I should not have named that head. That should have been named BN head. Don't know why I called it head. Anyway, with the adjustment node selected, select the adjustment node I sorry with the with the bone selected bone I'm selecting this bone here select on top the with the control uh, button held down select the adjustment eyebrows just like that so the master and the slave is the adjustment node eyebrows then in the animation menu go to constrain and say point and make sure that the maintain offset is turned off and say add and then say constrain and say orient and make sure maintain offset is turned off and say add. Now if we go back to our uh, turn back on our polygons we have one more thing to do to make sure that our eyebrows follow and that is with the from the outliner we are going to open our adjustment node we can see our control eyes right there we want to find these Oh, they're right there, perfect. We want to find the actual uh, mesh, the polygon mesh, and we're going to take the left eyebrow and we're going to middle mouse button and drag it and drop it on the left eyebrow control. And that should make a little structure like this. And we're going to do the same thing with the right. Select it and drag it onto the control right eyebrow, just like that. Perfect. Now, whenever we move the head, the eyebrows follow along and because we've actually parented the mesh under the uh, controls themselves and that's not there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it you could have you could have done an adjustment node etc and then ply you know and, and done a constraint and everything I'm doing everything really simply right here now we can actually move these around eyebrows up and down the eyebrows will follow that system so I can put them way out here for some reason if I want his eyebrows to blow off you know, boom, my eyebrows blew off. And when I adjust it, it still follows. Everything is cool. Okay, so that is how we do it. If we want this to go back, you obviously can rotate it too. You know, and make different shapes. If you want to go back, you can just zero everything out because we zeroed our controls. So there we go. We can make him have a, a, a questioning. Huh? What's going on? I don't get it. Huh? Why is that creeper exploding? Just like that. So you can actually adjust these and key them exactly as you would any other control. Okay, pretty easy stuff. And then to zero it, just select the controls and select these and say zero. Okay, everybody, I'm using the free version of Bandicam right now and we are hitting the eight minute mark. So I'm going to turn off this video and next we are going to tackle the um, facial, I think the eyes, the eyes themselves. So we want to be able to move the eyes left and right. I hope you guys enjoyed part A of I don't know what I'm even calling this video. How we call it? Um, final facial touches. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed part A of final facial touches. If you haven't done so already, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and make sure you guys leave me comments. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. All right, I'll talk to you all very soon.